What's going on gamers? Today I'll be going over how to install just enough items onto your Minecraft server. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our Minecraft videos. Minecraft is a big, complex game, and modded Minecraft is even more so. There's hundreds of items and recipes, and keeping track of each and every one can become quite the daunting task. Newer versions of the game come equipped with an in-game recipe book, but it's often clunky and difficult to navigate, and many mod recipes won't even show. This is where Just Enough Items comes into play. Just Enough Items, often abbreviated as JEI, is an item and recipe viewing mod. It allows you to easily view, sort, and search through all of Minecraft's items far easier than with the in-game recipe book. Whereas the recipe book only lets you view 25 items at a time, JEI can show you hundreds, all neatly sorted by their function and source. Clicking on an item will either show you all the ways of obtaining it, or give you the item if you have cheat mode enabled. By design, JEI is compatible with any other mods you might have installed alongside it. JEI was designed with robustness and compatibility in mind. Upon launching Minecraft, it goes through all of your mods and builds a database, and any new additions, they'll be added to the items, lists, and recipes. Just Enough Items functions as a both a server-side and client-side mod. The server-side and client-side denote where the mod's main functions happen, on the server, or on the player's computer, or on both. Most mods need to be installed on both the server and the player's computer to function for the player to even be able to join the server. However, Just Enough Items is an exception. Because it only requires the data that's already on the player's computer to run, it will work perfectly well even if the server the player is connecting to doesn't have it installed. Of course, certain features will be disabled, namely inventory management, as that requires access to the server. But besides that, it is perfectly functional. If you're sold and you want to install Just Enough Items into your game, you can follow these steps. First, head to the Just Enough Items download page. Then under game version, find your version of Minecraft. I was choosing 1.16.4. Download the newest version of Just Enough Items from the list, which you can go ahead and click keep on that button when it appears, and then put the file in an easy to reach location. In order to install Just Enough Items onto your server, you'll first need to head to your Apex panel and click on the FTP file access. From there, you're going to input your password in order to log into your profile into the control panel password slot and hit login or enter. From there, you're going to click on the mods subfolder that you see. Next, you're going to click upload on the left hand side. Finally, you're going to grab the just enough items mod pack and click and drag it into the drag files here. Once that's done uploading all the way, you can go ahead and head back to your main panel of your server by clicking on your name up top and then clicking the restart button in order to let the effects take place. To install just enough items onto an unmodded vanilla Minecraft server, you'll need to install Forge. If you're unaware how to do that, we have a handy guide showing you just how to do so, and you can find the link to that in the description. From there though, it's as easy as pie. All you need to do is open up your Minecraft folder and navigate to where you can see the mods folder. And if one doesn't exist, go ahead and create a new one. Then you'll open that, and all you need to do is click and drag the Just Enough Items mod pack into that new mods folder, and that is all you need to do. From here, launch Minecraft with the Forge profile that you've downloaded, and you will be good to go with JEI. Adding JEI to different mod packs isn't too terribly difficult, so we'll be going over how to do it from different mod pack launchers. The first one we'll look at is Technic. In the Mod Packs tab, click on your mod pack. Then you'll go to Mod Pack Options in the top right corner. Press the Open button of the Write to the Directory listing. In that folder that opens, head to the Mods subfolder. Once you've opened that up, click on the JEI on the left side and click and drag into the Mods folder that you just opened, and that's it for that one. Next, we'll be looking at the AT Launcher. Once it's opened, go into your Instances tab to the right side of the launcher there, then scroll down onto your mod pack and click Open Folder. 
Once that's done, you'll go into the mods subfolder there. And once again, all you'll need to do is click and drag the JEI file into that new mod subfolder. Next, we'll be looking at Overwolf. First, you'll find the CurseForge launcher and click on the launch button there. Once that's loaded all up, then you're going to find your mod pack and go ahead and right click on it. Then you'll need to click open folder. Once that folder opens, click into the mods tab. From there, you'll pull up your other mod where you have JEI and then click and drag that file into the mods tab. And that's it. Next, we will be looking at Void's Wrath. This one's also relatively simple. All you'll need to do is find your mod pack. And once you do, you're going to go ahead and click on the advanced tab on the right side there. That'll bring down a drop down menu and click on edit mods. Once that folder opens up, that'll be your mods folder for your mod pack. And all you'll need to do is click and drag the mod JEI into the mods folder and that'll do it. Finally, we'll be looking at FTB. This one is also an offshoot of Overwolf now, so you'll need to launch it from there. Go ahead and click launch when you see it. Once that loads all up, which may take a bit because sometimes it can take a little bit to load, you're going to click on the My Mod Packs tab on the left hand side there. Click on it and pull up the mod pack that you want to load. Click on the More button there and click on Open Folder in the top right. That'll open up the mod pack area, and all you'll need to do is click on the mods subfolder. And once you have that opened, you'll go ahead and click and drag JEI into the folder, and that'll be good. Once you've installed JEI, using it as as easy as pie. To access the JEI interface, all you'll have to do is open your inventory screen. To the side of your inventory, you'll be greeted by a searchable item list, which is the main feature. You can go through the pages by scrolling or clicking the arrows on the top. Down at the bottom, you can find a black search bar. Searching is fairly straightforward, and we'll be going more in depth a bit later. To bring up an items recipe screen, all you gotta do is left click on it. This will show you all the ways that items can be crafted in game. If you right click on an item, that'll show you all the ways it can be used, in essence, the opposite of the recipe viewer. It'll show you all the ways the recipes can be used in. Hovering over an item and pressing the bookmark key, which is A by default, will make it so that the item always shows on the panel on the left hand side. As I mentioned just a moment ago, searching is easy enough, but there are a couple of things that we can do to make it just a bit easier on us. For example, if you want to search for mods specifically, all you have to do is type the at symbol in front of whatever mod you're searching for. For example, I looked up the iron chest mod. The next cool feature that we'll be looking at is the JEI config menu. Go ahead and click on the wrench on the right side of the search bar and it'll pull up the menu in which you can see a couple of different things that you can alter. But the coolest thing you can do is get cheat mode enabled onto your server. All you have to do is left control click to enable it and instead of just a item search bar function you have now a item giver. Left clicking will give you one item and shift left clicking will give you a whole stack. Now I'll go over some common issues. The main one that we're going to talk about is just enough items isn't showing my items that are added on by my mods on a server. If you currently have any mods installed that the server does not have installed, JEI won't show them as they currently won't be loaded in game. If it's your server, make sure that your item lists match. And that'll be it for this video. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.